Tissai, Super Tendo Boy, and here I am for another little concept video. Uh, and so this time I have freezing in vanilla Minecraft, which is really exciting. It works a lot like how furnaces work. Um, in uh, Minecraft 1.7, which is where I'm making this in, it's a little bit limited, but um, at the end of the video I'll explain how it's not limited whatsoever in 1.8. It's super easy to adjust. Uh, you guys can use this for all kinds of things. But anyway, so as you can see, we have a little ice box here. And so we'll grab this packed ice from the chest. And then what we can do is we can place a water bucket in the middle of the ice box. And then what we can do is we can place four packed ice around the edges um, here. And uh, except for the top, and you might have heard a little click there, and uh, that means that's just a valid recipe. And so now, what will happen is uh, after we heard that click, we will wait a while, and then after that is over, um, it will turn this water bucket into um, ice, and it will give us the bucket back, similar to how a furnace works. Um, but yeah, I just have to wait a little while should be done here in a second let's see um, there we go it is finished and we can just open this up and it, we get our bucket and it gave us two ice so with one water bucket it gave us two ice blocks so it's a good way to like duplicate water um, and also all the ice is still here but, of course, if you're doing this in survival, you got to gather all that packed ice, which uh, is difficult a lot of times um, finding packed ice. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in all of our ice, except for one, and that's going to give us 16 on most of the sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a lava bucket in here. And so what this is going to do is, since we have more ice now, we can put in a lava bucket and it's gonna turn it into obsidian uh... now i know i'm using these demonstrations with water buckets and lava buckets and turning those into blocks but uh... you can do this with anything like um... maybe you could make it so that uh... i don't know cooked meat eventually like rotted in minecraft over time and so you could use this to uh... give you a special um cooked meat that never rotted or something like that uh, you can do whatever you want you can like make it so you freeze stuff in ice blocks but as you can see it's done here and we got two obsidian just like we got two ice and we got our bucket back so this is really cool um, that's just two of the demonstrations of uh, things you can do using this uh, ice box mechanic um, now most of this you can probably guess how it works. This is a uh, this is a dropper renamed Icebox, and so what we're doing is we are testing for a dropper that in its various slots it has um, the different items in it using um, the uh, test for block command, and um, as you can see here and we can use this little data tag items and we can test for each individual slot you guys can check that out um, I'll have a link to a forms post about it and I will also uh, have the command in the description so if it searches for that correct dropper then it's gonna shoot out one of these packed ice it's gonna fall through the cobweb this is just the equivalent of like a bunch of repeaters but it's much more compact you can use whatever you want as long as it uh, extends the pulse of the redstone. And now what happens is, is it's this command block which sets uh, this to lava real quick, which destroys the dropper and all the items inside it. You might have seen that. And then what it does is it sets block um, a dropper like this, except it sticks the correct items in these two slots. And then these. Uh, these commands here get rid of the items the item on the pressure plate and so we have the one for the water turning into ice and then we have one for lava turning into obsidian now um, I'm going to talk about how this is limited in uh, Minecraft 1.7 the 
big deal is this can only test for uh, this one dropper block in this very specific place. In um, Minecraft 1.8, you'll be able to use scoreboards and other new commands to test for any droppers in the world named Icebox. And then you can have it so that players can place these ice boxes anywhere and use them just kind of like an extra utility like a furnace or crafting table or uh, something like that. Also, another thing is that if you put them all in, you hear the click, and then you take all the items out, still after all the time, it will still give you all the stuff back, so you could duplicate packed ice and get free obsidian and buckets and whatever. But in 1.8, you'd be able to, um, well, I suppose you can still do it in 1.7, it just it's not exactly re reliable and it's much more laggy um, but you could have it constantly test for this um, throughout the extended time that this falls through the cobwebs and then that makes sure that it stays in there for the extended time so you can get the stuff um, but yeah I've always wanted to see this in the Minecraft uh, I don't exactly know now that I actually have it what I could do with this Maybe I can make it so that, uh, I don't know, when you, uh, I don't know, maybe if you freeze water buckets using um, less packed ice, then you would get snow, and then maybe if you froze, uh, I don't know. But there's plenty of different things you guys can do with it. There's plenty of items that you could convert into each other. You could even use custom items. Um, but that might be for another tutorial another day. But yeah, guys, I hope this helps you out. And um, I'd just like to explain right now the reason why I've been creating a lot of little kind of useless contraptions, little concept videos lately, is because I'm putting most of these together um, all into one big special project that you guys will uh, learn about in... Um, 1.8 uh, a few weeks into uh, 1.8 1.8 is hopefully coming out soon but once it does come out I'm gonna take a bunch of these concepts I'm gonna put them together as I said into one really cool project uh, and uh, I think you guys are really gonna like that but yeah guys I think that's about it for this video thank you for watching